Hey guys, it's Jed here from Again Faster. I'm here at CrossFit 4055 uh, with Carl Innes, the big guy. Nice. They call him the uh, quadruple threat. So you can sing. Yeah, obviously. Dance. Yep. Good at CrossFit. Yep. What's the fourth thing? Undiscovered. Oh yeah, cool. I like it. Hidden talent. Love it. Um, it's a beautiful gym actually at Pure Tennis over here in uh, Fernie Hills. Yep. Yep. Uh, great space, man. This is what, what even, how did this thought even start? Going back a few years ago when I looked at building my own box, mm. I wanted to be different. Yeah. I didn't want to be, there's anything wrong with it, being an industrial estate. Yeah. I wanted something a little unique. Mm. And then I stumbled across Pure Tennis at Fernie Hills here, had this vacant block of, you know, spot of land. So yeah. I approached the, um, the owner with an idea and a concept. Yeah. And I think within two hours, we'd done a handshake deal. I started building straight away. That's wow. So, when did you decide that you wanted to open a box? Like, tell me, talk to, talk me through that because I know that you know you've done CrossFit for for a while, but I think taking the plunge from like a member into you know a gym owner, especially in the CrossFit space, is not a small feat. Like, that's a, that can be a pretty big. I, I think I think it's pretty pretty common though. I think a lot of people uh, find CrossFit, they love it, and then there's a natural transition yeah. from being a CrossFit athlete to a, an affiliate owner or a box owner. Mm. Um, for me, it was an opportunity. Yeah. So when COVID hit, the gym I was at closed yeah. um, and I just saw an opportunity with a large number of members based to rule, you know, everyone knows CrossFit's an awesome community. community. Yeah. We all stayed in touch. I floated the idea and got great feedback from the members of that community. And then once I found the space, I put it out there and, and off we went. Uh, which brings me to my next point actually, because it's one of the things that I love so much about you and this space and all the times that we chat um, and talk about it, there's always a story or something, but it's just your community. And I feel like from what you've just said, that's the reason why you're actually able to um, you know, nurture such a great community, like your members and the banter and because you have gone, I'm gonna focus on the business and I'm gonna focus on um, making sure that people are happy here, you know, and that there's no pressure to be a part of this community and they're really enjoying themselves. So how did that, how have you gone about, I guess, nurturing the community that you have? Oh, look, I I think it's quite simple. So people people are my commodity. Mm. So if people feel welcome, if mm. people feel safe, people feel secure, mm. then they'll buy in. Yeah. And once they're bought in, that mm. they have a massive connection to the place and to the other members. Yeah. So sometimes you've almost got to foster the relationship of the members to the gym, to the other people, mm. ahead of the programming. I think the programming can kind of suit itself. Like yep. the, the programming and the methodology behind CrossFit or the high intensity movements, they're constantly varied. At a basic level, we can deliver that yep. um, in, in many different forms. But getting the people to buy in to what we're offering mm. is the key. Because I always found it's easier to keep someone than try and find new members. So our focus well, our DNA, I guess, isn't trying to create elite athletes. Yeah. My focus is trying to make people better, yeah. healthier, fitter. And that comes in so many different shapes and sizes. Yeah. People have different goals. Um, and I think it's important for longevity that people can move properly. They can squat to full depth. Yeah. They can get their arms behind 100%. their shoulders. They can functionally move the way the body was intended yeah. before any load's put on. So I just say to people, it doesn't matter if you come in and you've had a terrible day, but you want to move. Mm. Well, let's let's change things up. Let's just get you in the right mindset, get you moving. Yeah. And then tomorrow, you, and you, you might be back on. And you've created that environment where they're comfortable enough to share the fact that they haven't had a great day and you can just, you know, get them into that mindset ready ready to go and just move. Well, most of my members will tell me yeah, when yeah. they walk in how, yeah. how, how, how good great. or bad they are. <laughs> so it's, it, but it's good that they're comfortable to say, That's right. No, so exactly. hey, how's it going? Yeah. Oh, terrible, yeah. had a really up, up night or not when the kids are yeah. sick, whatever. Right, let's, let's tail it today yeah. to how you feel and um, takes the pressure off. Yeah, that's because awesome. we're not, we're, we're just trying to create mm. an environment where people can train today to train for tomorrow and be consistent. Yeah.